little bit windy, but I pretty much drove across the state of South Dakota. <laughs> um, I was at the very bottom left of South Dakota, and um, I just hit the border. <coughs> I just hit the border of North Dakota. It's into my car right now, but that sign. Let me unlock this. Here we go. But that sign right there. Welcome to North Dakota. So the reason I went this way. I'm trying to Uh, the reason I went this way is I took my car because I'm planning on going west and I still want to hit the states and I was only four hours away so I decided to just drive my car up here so that way I can get on the land get a picture of the sign for everything that's going up um, so that way I can hit that and then I can go back to my RV so when I head west I can hit Wyoming, Montana, Idaho and all that and I don't have to go out of my way to North Dakota so I can hit the land. So that's pretty much what I did today. Um, so I'm going to head out to Bowman so I can actually go into the land, so to speak, uh, which is about 20 minutes from here. And then I'm going to drive back, another four hour drive back. So that is the plan. Alright, so today uh, I made the choice to go to North Dakota because uh, one, I'm leaving next week, and two, rally started, or well, it's starting like in a couple days or something. So I wanted to go through Sturges before Rally. I wanted to go through Sturges before Rally started. It's almost impossible to get through there. So it was a four-hour drive. Hey, calm down, okay? So anyway, it was a four-hour drive to get to North Dakota. I got. I just barely went in. I went to the went to the sign, took my photo that I that I have, and I went to the nearest town, which is which was Boeing Bowling. I don't know. It was, I think it was Boeing. So I went there, turned around and came back. Uh, on my way back, I went through Sturgis again, um, except this time I took um, 79 back, which drove me right past the Full Throttle, which I don't know if you guys know Full Throttle Saloon. It's been on um, Real TV or True TV. Uh, yeah, it was Real TV, now it's True TV. But Full Throttle Saloon, so I went by there. Um, didn't get any video. They don't do like videos and stuff unless you're like licensed. So I did get a couple pictures driving off, but that's about it. So, oh, and then while I'm like driving by, like I'm doing like 80 miles an hour down the road because uh, uh, the speed limit is like 75, I think. So I'm just cruising at 80, and I got bugs hitting my windshield, and I got them hitting my hand. My hands out the window, they're bouncing off my hand, and um, you know where you get that like that instinct where you just kind of like dodge your head a little bit they i heard something i heard and i dodged my head and i heard something hit the back of my seat like my the headrest and then like 20 minutes later i kind of like lean back in my chair to lean back to adjust and i feel a sharp pain on my back I'm like oh man what the hell is that i pull my shirt up and there's a b like a, a th like this big like it was huge and then half its stinger was out and the other half was in my back so I got stung in the back by a bee for the very first time. And so I didn't know if I was gonna go into anaphy anaphylactic or not. So I went to the hospital and hung out there for like half an hour. But I didn't go into anaphylactic shock, I'm fine. Breathing, breathing, everything's good. On my clock. But we get to put up North Dakota because we went there technically. So like I, here's, here's where I am right now. And I drove all the way up here. This is four hours. I drove across the state. Uh, Molly, you want to eat a little bit louder? Okay. So I drove all the way across the state and went to like right here. Actually, it was like right here somewhere. So I'll be putting a pin there. Oh, let me see this bee sting. It's probably almost gone now, but there it is. So yeah, it's like right underneath my armpit, and I lean, and like, I wasn't trying to be aggressive or anything, man. Like, I don't know why he's got to be so rude. Like, I just leaned back to readjust, because I was driving for nine hours, and he had to get all aggressive and sting me. So, first time I've ever been stung by a bee, and apparently I'm not allergic, so that's good. So I'm going to go, oh, so I'm going to put my 
North Dakota one up here. Uh, we went to Wyoming the other day. I I don't know if I videoed that or not. I, I haven't gone through my videos in a while. Um, but we just drove like right here. We're just barely in and out. But we're, we're, what we're actually going to do is the, our new path. We're going to come across Wyoming like this up here to um, what is it, Yellowstone. And then from Yellowstone, we can hit Montana and then go through Idaho up to Washington. So we're going to go to Seattle and then back down. Uh, I think like I think there's a highway that goes like right through Oregon like this. And it cuts over just the corner of California and then Nevada. And then there's a road like right here, Utah, Arizona, New Mexico, and then back to Texas for the winter. So that way, next year when we start, we'll have this whole, this whole side of the map will be covered. Then we can start working, we'll start working on our path going like that. All right, so a lot of you know that I do smoke. I've been trying to quit. I can't seem to quit. I don't know why. I guess I don't have the willpower or whatever. But I've tried the gum. I've tried, uh, I tried quitting smoking with the gum. I've tried quitting smoking with patches. Uh, I've tried switching over to vaping. It doesn't work. And nowadays, cigarettes are like $80 a carton. It's, they're ridiculous. Back when I first started smoking, I think they were like $18 a carton. So they jumped up quite a bit. And so what I decided to do, I'm like, well, if I can't quit smoking, I'm going to go as cheap as I can. And so what I ended up doing is I bought a machine, a, my own roller, like a rolling machine. And um, so far it's already been cheaper. So with, um, with the machine, see the machine, the tobacco, the tubes and then just the metal holding case for things uh, costing less than a carton of cigarettes costing about 75 bucks um, and then with you get the tobacco here which this is equivalent to like a marble red and then I get a carton of tubes there's a box of their tubes but there's nothing in them there's a filter on it and that's about it so uh, with this machine, I can roll a pack of cigarettes for about 42 cents. The, um, so it's $75 to buy everything to start with, but from now on when I have to buy the tobacco and the cigarettes, or the roller, the tubes, it costs me $8, or eight fifty roughly, um, for pretty much, a, it rolls a carton. And so now, when you do the math on it, I can roll a pack of cigarettes for about um, for about forty cents. So and it takes maybe ten minutes to roll a whole pack, not a carton. Um, I can roll a pack in about ten minutes, um, and it costs me forty cents to roll a pack. So I'll show you how it works. So I have this machine here. I've got this crank handle. And you see this knife type deal come out. Like that and then you also see this little thing move what this hat what this does is that you put your cigarette tube on here like this and then when you put your tobacco in this thing will hold the tube on where it needs to be and then as you follow through it injects it into your cigarette so it's a little bit of a messy machine but So here's what you do, you put your put your tube on. Alright, so you put your tube on, take some tobacco, cram it in the corners here. And then you fill up the rest of this here with tobacco. And I give it a couple of cranks. Because what, what this is, that's, this little blade here is actually a knife, so it's cutting the tobacco. And I kind of want it, don't want to pack it too tight. You can do a full follow through. And then you got a perfectly rolled cigarette. So. Hard to hard to see with this, but you got a perfectly rolled cigarette, kind of. 
And then what I do is I take these scissors here. See if I can get this in camera. And what I do is I just cut off, not the paper, just the just the tobacco. And then I use it to pack another cigarette. So now just give it a few taps on the table, get a little little bit of a pack. And now it's perfectly rolled cigarette. Alright, so I just ran out of cigarettes. So what I'm gonna do is that I have my I have everything here. I got my filters, my tobacco, <clears throat> and then also my roller which I showed you guys earlier and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll a pack real quick this right here is just the metal cigarette case and I'm going to fill this up it holds 20 like a normal pack would and so I'm actually going to be making 21 cigarettes because I'm going to be smoking one while I do this but what I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt the camera down and then I'm going to time lapse making all of them and I'm going to uh, I'll be timing it as well so we'll see how long it takes to actually make a pack and like I said earlier a pack cost me about 42 cents to make so we'll get started it's been a while since I've made any kind of vlog about anything uh, I've been super busy in a bunch of other projects uh, we actually have a bunch of projects going on at the moment but first I gotta get rid of all this like Look at this, it's, my hair is so long and it's I got this nasty beard and everything going. So uh, I'm gonna get this all cleaned up. All right, so now that, uh, now that I got out of the shower, shaved my head, shaved everything up. My tongue's all blue from a squeeze, I was drinking a squeeze it. But I'm all bald again, I look good, all cleaned up. But also, we started a podcast. Um, we're about four or five episodes in, something like that. Uh, right now, it's only on SoundCloud. And we're trying to get it approved through iTunes and Google Play and Spotify and everything. Um, but if you want to check out, check them out on SoundCloud right now, uh, just look up soundcloud.com slash iScribble, which the um, link will be in the description. It'll also be across the bottom of the screen here. Uh, go check it out. Follow them. And like I said, as soon as we get approved through iTunes and everything, we'll be we'll be on iTunes as well, and pretty much anywhere you can get a podcast, um, we'll we'll be on there. So be sure to check it out. And uh, th hey, stop with your shaking. So the podcast is called IS3. It's really the only thing we can come up with because I already have all the branding and everything for IS3. So. Be sure to go check it out.